2023, big tech certainly outperformed the rest of the market, right? We had the emergence of AI in a big way, and it dominated the headlines, and we saw some real winners, right, like NVIDIA. So now what? 2024 is upon us. Dave Nicholson's with us, Chief Research Officer at the Futurum Group. So what do you think? I mean, because the, when you look at NASDAQ, which is up over 50% this year, I mean, NVIDIA 200% plus, what do you think? Can we see some of these names continue to do well in 2024? Well, first, it's great to see you, Nicole. Thanks for having me. Uh, yes. So the short answer is we will absolutely see uh, a rising tide in tech, uh, bolstered by kind of the twin factors of AI and uh, I think increasing um, attention paid to security issues. So a little bit of fear, a little bit of, uh, of opportunity driving everyone. Um, we see this as what our head of AI calls the era of inference everywhere. So if you're an investor, you don't want to have to get down into the tech weeds, at least understand that artificial intelligence includes building the models and then using the models, uh, asking questions of the models. That's the inference part. Uh, the reason why that's important to call yeah, is because I, like, yeah, companies like NVIDIA uh, are largely right. on the build them up and people are people are, uh, are are in a race to get that done but companies like AMD Intel Broadcom and the rest benefit mightily from this inference everywhere dynamic so Nvidia on a pullback you would say is still some sort of buy because you think the momentum continues there what about AMD and um, some other such as a Broadcom that you mentioned? Yeah, so again, we don't, at Futurum, we don't specifically look at the stocks themselves. Uh, right. You know, we're, okay, we're plugged into the, the folks. Of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I would, say, I would say that by the end of 2024, we're going to see some rationality uh, raising its head and, uh, and buyers of the NVIDIA part of this equation are going to realize that they don't always need NVIDIA for all of it. And so that tilts in favor of the AMDs, the Broadcoms, the Dells, uh, uh, the Intels of the world, where that inference is happening. But but again, it's uh, positive for everyone involved. It's interesting because I heard a stat about companies using AI and the truth, I don't remember the actual number, percent of number. It was way lower than I anticipated. I mean, when I heard Campbell's Soup was uh, talking AI, then I thought we were in a new world, a new era. But I just recently heard a stat and it was surprising that fewer companies than I anticipated were using AI. So that shows there's growth potential, penetration potential, market share to grab. Um, what's missing and what do you think can come? Yeah, there's, there's nothing missing, Nicole. The thing is people like you and I, we sort of get this idea of where we are in a trend. It becomes accelerated. Uh, this is the beginning of the gold rush. And uh, gold was just discovered essentially in the AI space. And there are gonna be people who are finding gold, but there are gonna be a lot more people selling pans and shovels and uh, picks and axes and trucks and all of these other things. And so that's that's the part of the sector that you really need to pay attention to, the folks that are supporting this effort. Um, uh, back to the back to the gold rush analogy. Uh, it's the wild, wild west when it comes to software infrastructure in this space. But now we are just at the beginning stages. Uh, the, the one thing I will caution investors about is don't get too excited about the shiny object you hear about that is the result of an AI implementation. Remember that eighty percent of what will be done with AI is process optimization. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just may not see it in the headlines. You know, Campbell's Soup might be doing something that to the casual observer seems mundane, but it's actually driving profitability to their business. So it's extremely significant. Right, and we see AI, I mean, just to back up, where's AI being used most and where do you see AI growing? AI will be used everywhere in that sort of process optimization realm. Uh, in my role as a success coach, as part of the uh, Wharton CTO program, I get to talk to CIOs and CTOs every week in class, and uh, we go through what their projects are. And I can't emphasize how much these projects just don't sound sexy to the outside observer, but they truly are, whether you're a shipping company 
or a pharmaceutical company. You don't have to be involved in technology or selling technology per se to want to optimize operations within the firm. Then there's the whole sector of net new cool AI things that the consumer will be exposed to. But again, that's always going to be the tip of the iceberg. I say AI everywhere. Right. How about some of the other companies? What are they working on? You talked about AWS, Dell, um, Intel. What are some yeah. things that are exciting to you that you see they're working on? Yeah. What's exciting to me in this space, going back and looking at the history of how uh, general computing servers have developed, uh, AI servers are 10x the cost of a comparable compute server today. And the only reason for that is this sort of fear of missing out mentality, the, the uh, uh, time to market anxiety associated with gravitating towards only one solution, the NVIDIA sort of Ferrari solution. What I'm most excited about in 2024 is the dawn of standardization and commoditization in this space. And companies that are involved in that area are the block and tackle companies of Dell. Uh, Dell came out with a, a fantastic line of servers recently in the AI space that leverage good old fashioned CPU technology. Uh, Intel, even Apple at the edge in our mobile devices and PCs, you're going to see AI acceleration on the inference side. Um, so, uh, but, but specifically the Broadcoms of the world that kind of own much of the real estate on that computer motherboard. Uh, yes, NVIDIA GPUs are, are going to con continue to get the headlines, uh, but it's all of the things that surround them that I think uh, they'll, be, they'll be playing catch up in the entire market. Right. All right. Dave Nicholson of the Futurum Group, thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck at Tech Ahead. Happy we holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. You too.